How you doing everybody this is Danny from HD Reviews and right now we're gonna review another figure from the Saint Seiya EX line and this is the seventh figure that has come out on this situation or this line as you want to call it and here we have in front of us the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth EX and this is Pisces or Pisces Aphrodite So welcome back, we have been waiting for this figure for a long time and there's been a lot of speculation about this figure. They've been saying, oh the faces are not that great, anything like that, please don't judge the figure until we've seen it in its full glory. So here we have the box itself, have you already seen, we've already seen EX boxes before, it has the plastic thing right there, you see the pieces Aphrodite in front and then we see the EX logo, Bandai logo and Tamashii Nation logo. This was made in 2013. If we turn the box we could see the actual pose of the figure doing the bloody rose. As you can see very nice figure. And then if we go to the back we could see the object mode. We see the figure with the roses. And we can see the different faces that it comes with this figure. On the other side, you can see the object mode of the figure as well. And on the top and on the bottom, you can see the warning signs that come with this figure. Um, not showing you right now, but you've already seen all my other reviews. It has not changed. So yeah, let's take off this little plastic cover, show you the Pandora's box of this gold saint, and then see the busters inside. Here we have Buster number one, and I'm very pleasantly surprised, but I'll tell you more later on. So, this is Buster number one, we have the figure itself, we have the shoulders, we have the arms, we have the legs, and we have the covers for the arms, for the hands, my bad. So yeah, that is basically Buster number one, let's go with Buster number two. So here we have Buster number two, and we have the chest, the waist, and the waist yeah and then we have all the skeleton of the object mode and then we have the little base for the object mode on the back so yeah that is buster number two let's go with buster number three here we have buster number three and we have four faces plus the one he has on we have the actual hair if we could put him with the helmet we actually have uh, a total of eight hands right here plus the two he has on we have the little bases for the object mode and we have his cape and that's it this is Buster number three. Let's go with the instruction manual. So here we have the manual. As you can see, very, very normal, a standard manual. You can see that Pieces Aphrodite signal in the middle, the EX and Bandai logo, Tamashii Nation logo right there. Made in 2013, as you can see, right there. And as we open the manual, very simple manual. It lays out all that the figure has like by number and stuff like that and everything from the object mode and then it shows you how to make the object mode really really quick and then it shows you how to make the figure so if you've done pieces of Aphrodite before on myth cloth form you already know how to make this figure it's not complicated but you know they show you how to do it so yeah and if you build an EX before you already know how to do this so very simple manual nothing very hard you know you build a myth clock before you already know what's going on. So yeah, let's go build the object mode and then see the figure.
here we have Pieces of Aphrodite, and here we have the Myth Cloth version of Pieces of Aphrodite. And then you could see the difference. An inch to an inch and a half bigger. And it looks kind of different. I was very surprised. This figure I really, really like. This one, it, the face looks more like the anime. But for some reason, this one looks better for, for, for me. You know, it, it looks... Well, because the body is taller, the face is a little bit more extended. It still looks feminine. But it looks male at the same time. I, I don't know if you get it. Because... Yeah, this looks complete girl right here. <laughs> so yeah, Pieces Aphrodite. Here's a comparison. Let's move this one away because we already reviewed that figure in another video. So yeah, I want to show you the face. That's the main attraction on this freaking theme park. And here we have the face. So here we have the face. And a lot of us were thinking that this person was going to be like cross-sided because that's the picture that Bandai was showing us. It was cross-sided. It, it looked kind of weird. But it's not. It looks really great. In fact, let me show you the other faces. They look fantastic. So we here have the other one. The screen face right there. I mean, let's see if we could focus it. You know. Uh, let's move out. Well, it's trying to focus in on the other one. But there we go. Screen face right there really good well made then we have the blank face one the one that we saw like on Tamashii Nation pictures stuff like that then we have the closed eyes one really well made and then we have the one with the rose the roses are swappable you could take it off and put the white one or the black one whichever one you want it looks fantastic so this figure is a uh, 99% metal as you all know, you know the Myth Claws is a combination of plastic and metal. The waist is plastic on this one. And the head. And the cape. So here's the helmet. You know, I showed you some uh, some shots of him with the helmet on another uh, video on the preview. And then you have this to cover up the where, where the cape is. The cape, I mean, it's up to you if you want to keep him with the cape or not. I'll probably keep him with the cape, but I really don't like the cape. So, uh... It's very fragile and I did have a little bit of problems with the cape later on that the top part was trying to fall off. So yeah. So as you can see, very nice. It has really nice uh, balance features. It is really good. I mean, the flexibility is great. And the hair looks fantastic. And we see the hair. It just looks phenomenal. And with the helmet, it looks great. I already showed you some pictures of him on with the helmet. It looks fantastic. I just, I'm just astounded with that face. I mean, I thought I was going to get something different. You know what I mean? I mean, all the pictures that I saw of Pisces, Aphrodite, or Pisces Aphrodita, as you want to call them, the face looked horrible. I thought it was going to be one of the major fails from Bandai. And it turned out to be really, really nice. It is very well uh, sculptured. It is well made. And it deserves to be with the top uh, five other ones. You know, uh, Milo... He's still one of my worst ones. But this one is really, really good. I do like it. I have to go even far as going that the Myth Cloth is a little bit outdated compared to this figure. The Myth Cloth is great. Don't get me wrong. Myth Cloth Pisces Aphrodite was nailed to the T. But when you see an updated version, it just looks phenomenal. I, I totally recommend it. I just love this figure. I fell in love as soon as I saw the face. I knew that this was going to be a hit. Here we have my final thoughts of the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth Pisces Aphrodite or Pisces Aphrodita of the Bandai Saint Seiya Myth Cloth EX line. And I have to say, I am very, very surprised. I thought I was getting something different. The pictures were lying to me and the prototype looked worse than this. Now that I see this one, it looks fantastic. It looks great. The detail is fantastic. You know, it looks a little bit more elongated, the face, but it still keeps true to the anime for some extent. You know, you know, all the EX have different features. They're a little bit slimmer, and they don't look like the Myth Cloth line in any way, shape, or form, as you saw when I was showing you both of them next to them. And the Myth Cloth pieces Aphrodite is great. But this one has taken me over. It, it looks fantastic. It, it looks uh, updated. It looks like a great figure. So, it, I love it. The faces are great. 
I mean, the poses you could do are tremendous. It is a fantastic figure. You could get this at iShop to go. iShop to go has this figure right now for you. If you haven't picked it up, I know it's been very limited and even sold out. You should pick this figure up because, my goodness, it is really, really good. So on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm giving this figure a freaking 10. Right now, I'm giving it a 10. I really, really like it. I don't know what other reviewers did. I've never seen other reviewers reviewing their figures. But I'm very impressed. Everything that I saw, everybody bashing it before it even came out, you know. I really had a really negative, negative um, thoughts about this figure. I wasn't even trying to open it because it, it looked really bad. But now you, I have it in hand. I could see it. It looks fantastic. It looks great. I'm really happy I picked it up. So like I said, pick it up at iShopToGo.com. And this has been Daniel from H2 Views. And I'll see you on the next Sincia review.